previous video, I explained how the early transmission of electricity began with DC current and later the invention of transformers almost eliminated the use of DC system. I have also mentioned that the advancement in semiconductor converters paved the way for the comeback of DC as high voltage DC transmission. In today's video, we are going to see the advantages of high voltage DC transmission over high voltage AC transmission. Hi, I am Benila and you are watching The Learning Curve. Before discussing the first advantage of HVDC over HVAC, we should be familiar with the difference between AC and DC current. The current is the flow of electrons. DC refers to direct current. Here the electrons flow in one particular direction. AC refers to alternating current. Here the electrons reverse their direction many times a second at regular intervals. One of the important terms of electricity is frequency. The electrical frequency means the total number of times the electrons go back and forth in one second. Since in DC the electrons don't change their direction the frequency is zero. The value of AC frequency varies depending on the country. There are approximately 40 countries that use 60 Hz frequency while the rest typically run on 50 Hz frequency. If a country generates surplus electricity, they trade and share electricity with the neighboring countries. The main thing to consider here is the two countries those share electricity should have the same frequency. But what if their frequency don't match? In such case, HVDC is very useful because in DC frequency is zero. So we don't have to worry about the frequency matching. Yes, the first advantage of HVDC is that it allows power transmission between two grids with different frequencies. Next, let's see about the corona loss. The phenomenon of violet glow, hissing noise and the production of ozone gas in the overhead transmission line is known as the corona. Here the power is dissipated in the form of light, heat, sound and chemical action. Corona loss will be less in HVDC transmission than in HVAC transmission. Now let's talk about the transmission lines of HVDC system. Here there are mainly two type of HVDC links. Monopolar link and bipolar link. Mono means one. As the name indicates, the monopolar link has only one conductor. Bi means two. So bipolar link has two conductors. On the other hand, HVAC transmission requires a minimum of three conductors. It is very clear that HVDC requires less number of conductors than HVAC transmission. This obviously decreases the cost of HVDC transmission. Since it uses few conductors, we don't need very big towers to carry them. Yes, HVDC transmission needs a smaller tower than HVAC transmission. When a conductor is carrying alternating current, this current is not uniformly distributed over the whole cross section of the conductor. This is called the skin effect. The current tends to concentrate near the surface of the conductor. This means the electric current flows mainly at the skin of the conductor between the outer surface and the level called the skin depth. Skin depth depends on the frequency. As the frequency increases, the current flow moves to the surface, resulting in less skin depth. Similarly, as frequency decreases, the skin depth increases. When the frequency is zero, there is no skin effect in the conductor. This means the current is uniformly distributed over the whole cross section of the conductor. Zero frequency refers to DC. Now compare these two. For the same amount of current to transmit, AC transmission requires a conductor with larger diameter. This means HVDC transmission requires thinner conductors than HVAC transmission. 
This again reduces the cost of HVDC transmission. However, the cost of the terminal equipment of HVDC is very high. These semiconductor converters are very expensive. The overall cost of transmission depends on both the terminal equipment cost and the transmission line cost. The terminal equipment cost is fixed, but the transmission line cost increases with distance. Now let's plot a graph between the cost and the distance. The terminal equipment cost of HVDC is higher than HVAC. The transmission line cost of HVDC is lower than HVAC. Now compare these two graphs. This point of intersection is called the break-even point. The break-even distance of the overhead transmission line is estimated to be around 600 to 800 kilometers. So beyond this distance, HVDC is the best choice. In other words, HVDC system are economical for very long distance bulk power transmission. The break-even distance for submarine cables is less than 50 kilometers. HVDC is the best choice for submarine cables that are more than 50 kilometers long. One of the applications of submarine cables is to transmit the electricity which is generated from the ocean to the shore. I do have few videos explaining the methods of generating electricity from the ocean. I am sure you will find it useful. Bye, see you in my next video.